Hi there Aquarius, thanks so much for tuning in for September 7 through 13. I'm Astro Girl and let's look at what the stars have in store for you Aquarius. Two planets signing a peace treaty and a new moon eclipse that comes with a warning label makes this another uneven, unstable week. Things start out on a high note on Tuesday, September 8, with the only Mars-Uranus trine of 2015, and of course, Uranus is your ruling planet. This influence, which lasts little more than a week, is a remarkable combination of self-driven power, which is Mars, which of course is in Leo right now, your opposite sign and relationship zone, and intuitive genius, which is Uranus, which is in Aries, your communication zone. With Uranus's technological savvy, this is an important marker that there will be even more creative devices such as self-driving cars, 3D printers, iRobots and Google Glasses in general use than ever before. Considering how many times Mars has crossed swords with Uranus in the last few years, it's a huge relief to have them in balance again because when they're fighting, it's not, you know, it, it's really quite a quite a, a Game of Thrones type deal. When they're getting along, a lot can get done. The new moon in Virgo on Sunday, September 13, exerts a stronger but less than positive influence because it's also a solar eclipse and it's in your eighth house of joint resources, joint investments and intimacy, how you share yourself your body, your mind and your money with your partner, your business partner, your family and whoever else that you are spending time with. This partial solar eclipse is part of a family of eclipses that are considered to be highly stressful Aquarius. Because this eclipse is also in Virgo, the sign that rules over work and health, this is the time to avoid stress and surgery if possible. Make your plans new now to start something new, but wait until next week to put them into action. You'd be glad you did. Sometimes, you know, with Mars and Uranus, that's like a really good thing for you, and that's definitely something you need to put into place and use, because having Uranus in Aries, you know, a fire sign means that it, with you being an air sign, fire and air obviously go really well. You're a fixed sign and sometimes you do need a jolt. You need someone to come along and push you and prod you until you say, yeah, okay, I'll give it a go. And what, you know, you'll give it a go and sure enough, it'll turn out to be something you, in real, you really enjoy doing and you're onto a whole new thing. So have a great week, great speaking to you. Be kind to yourself and I'll speak to you again next week.